Hey YouTubers! I know it's been a while since you've seen me on this video site, but I have been busy. Like I always say that, I've been busy. I've been looking for an alternative to Movie Maker, and I know a lot of you have too. And this one is pretty sweet. Uh, it's a little bit of a heavy download, but it's worth it. And uh, I got a few videos in the works, but I've just been tied up doing other stuff and taking care of business. Um, but I'm working on them, and they're coming. <clears throat> I know a lot of people fighting with the blue screen of death, and I'm working on that for you. Okay, I hope you're all doing great. Enjoy the program, and remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> I'll talk to you later. All right, well, I'm assuming you've downloaded the, the zip file. That's what it looks like, vw6.zip. If you right-click on it, you should see an extract all. But I'm using WinZip, so I'm going to go to WinZip and extract to here. And it's going to create a file. Double click on the setup file. Choose your language. Click yes. English United States or English UK. Next. I accept the agreement. Next. Next, 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 next. Depending on how slow your computer is, wait for it to install. Well, let's check the weather while we're waiting. Oh, look at that. Almost 13 degrees. Wind chills 12. Low of 1, high of 20, high of 26. Woof, heat wave. I don't want to read the README file. I never read directions. Then you have to restart your computer. Click finish to restart. Or click no and you restart later. Click finish. Creates shortcuts for you. Okay, so we've rebooted. We got it installed. We're going to double click on the Presto Video Works. If you want to load a file, you have to go up here, change directory, uh, pick the folder where your video is located, find the folder you want. You can click on any video you want, click open, and it'll load that, that whole uh, folder. I don't know why it does that, but it loads the whole folder. Um, find a video you want to edit, drag it down the timeline like you do in Movie Maker. And then here you switch between timeline and storyboard mode. I like timeline, it's a little easier to edit. Of course, just like Movie Maker, you get to the point where you want. And there's your split button. You can split them. And then go up under edit. And you got this arrow here. Yours will probably be like that at default. You click on that arrow, it opens up the other choices. Um, you're in edit now. You got color effects. You can add different coloring. You got special effects. Got the magic touch puts stuff in there. Uh, you got the mixer where you can drag and drop other videos over top of this one for like blue screen applications. <clears throat> and you've got the video fun, different frames, uh, just 
fun stuff. You, know, you put chains in there, music notes, stuff like that. You can edit your audio, clip audio, you can add your own, you can add your own uh, audio file, or you can record something for your overlay. And of course you can fade in and out, stuff like that, play with that. <clears throat> Got transitions, a bunch of different transition effects. find one you like <clears throat> and you can overlap tell it how far to overlap <clears throat> you have to just get in and play with it it's got different text effects type your text there when you're done with your video you click on produce and select your your files um, WMV is going to be your smallest file with less quality. AVI is going to be your, your best quality, I would think. Um, click Next. Gives you options for compression. Um, I just go no compression, maximum quality, which gives you a bigger file size. Um, when you're ready, hit Produce. Uh, give it a name, decide where you want to save it to, click save, and it will run through the save process. <clears throat>